Hi kids, it's me, Mr. Doublestein, and today I want to talk to you just for a couple minutes about feeling nervous before and during music performances. You know, feeling nervous or having stage fright, it's totally normal. In fact, you could ask your mom or dad, and chances are they too feel nervous whenever they're doing something in front of a large group of people. Well, what I want to talk to you today is about not letting that nervousness ruin your experience. After all, the goal of music is to have fun making and sharing your music with others. And so what you don't want to do is have so much pressure on your shoulders of having to be perfect that anytime you make a mistake, it ruins your whole experience. Trust me guys, you're going to make mistakes. Everybody does. So we can't hold ourselves to perfection. When you do make a mistake, just do your best to keep going. That's the secret. Oftentimes, you're going to know the music even better than anyone in the audience. And so you might know that you've made a mistake, but the audience might have no idea. So do your best not to like make it obvious when you make a mistake. You know, don't don't have a face like this, like, oh, no, instead, just keep going. Pretend like it never even happened. And oftentimes, your audience will have absolutely no idea. But what do you do if you ever make a big mistake, one that you can't really recover from? You know, this happened to me one time in college. I was performing my senior recital, which was my very last concert before I would graduate. Well, I had worked really hard getting ready for it, <laughs> performing one of my favorite pieces in the world, Rhapsody in Blue. This piece was not easy. In fact, it took me over a year to learn. I memorized it. But during my performance, I lost my place. I made a mistake and I completely went blank. Guys, this might happen to you one day. It certainly happened to me. And I wanna show you how I responded. You see, I have a video from back then. Now this is like nine years ago, okay? But here, here it is. Here's me playing a marimba. And right there is my accompanist playing the piano. What you're gonna notice is I start making some wrong notes and then freeze up. Check it out. Ooh, wrong notes. Uh oh. Right there, I had to make a decision. <laughs> what was I going to do, right? I'd worked so long and so hard. What would I do? Would I get upset? Would I throw down my mallets? Would I take my instrument, go up the elevator and toss it out the window? No, that is not the way to respond. We don't want to throw fits in those moments, okay? We got to keep it cool. We got to stay afloat. So here's what I did. In that moment, I decided I had to start over. After all, I had no music to fall back on. Like there were no papers for me to come back and say, oh yeah, this is where I am. So I had to just start over and that's what I did. You see, I started over. I took a break, I took a breath, collected my thoughts, and I began again. Now, as I continued to play, I still didn't play the piece perfectly, but I got through that part that gave me so much trouble the second time through. In fact, I did so well that after the concert, nobody even mentioned my mistake. They were just so proud of me and enjoyed the music that I created. Kids, I want you to know that moments like those are going to happen, okay? Don't let your fear though, or even your frustration at making mistakes ruin your positive experience. Guys, my senior recital was the best concert I ever performed. And yeah, I made a mistake. And yeah, I had to start over. But it was no big deal. And nobody really cared. Listen, as long as you put in the work ahead of time, you're gonna do great. And yeah, it might not be perfect, but it doesn't have to be. You be you, do your best, and if you make a mistake, don't beat yourself up. 
remember it happens to everyone. Guys, my hope is that whatever performance you're getting ready for, you have fun making music. I hope today's video was helpful and I wish you the best of luck.